So Gulenton Cave has you know, several unique features. One of those is the amazing flutes. And everybody who comes in here notices they are almost from the floor to the ceiling in many places, so they're of the order of 10 meters tall. Any flute has to be water corrosion. And yet the normal water flute has a, an obvious source of water. It also has a cross section that is V, you know, the water channel has the V. And it either starts off deep and becomes shallow or starts shallow and becomes deep. These flutes, they're different in that they have a round cross section, which is very different from the V-shaped cross section. They don't have any clear source of water, and they don't change as they go down. They're the same depth right from the ceiling to the floor. They're vertical, regardless of the geological conditions. So we have an issue here. How do you get that water in there to dissolve them? So right now, the, the best working hypothesis is that it is condensation. And the condensation comes from all those living things all the bats and all of the these birds in particular, which live close to the tops of these. Um, we call them apse flutes, because when you look at it, it reminds you of a cathedral. And that word, the apse of the cathedral, is the rounded shape in the cathedral. And the top is called the conch, conch pocket, because it is the rounded top with no source of water, no dripping water, no water flowing down the, the walls, nothing obvious. So if it's condensation from all the living things, they produce CO2, they produce water, they produce heat, and that all rises and gives you a rising pocket of condensation and corrosion. And we think they probably developed from the bottom upwards into the ceiling. And then they also develop sideways, laterally, and end up with a cave with vertical parallel walls lined by flutes. Flutes, that is. 